Hey everyone, welcome to Code Harmony. Today we will be solving Lead Group Medi 303 Range Sum Query Immutable. This problem has been asked in companies like Meta, Google, and Amazon. It's a data structure design problem based on the concept of prefix sum. It's marked as easy, but it is going to teach us a very good concept. Let's have a look on the problem statement. We are given integer array nums. Handle multiple query of the following type. First one is Calculate the sum of element of nums between the indices left and right inclusively where left is less than equal to right. Okay, so we are given two indices left index less than equal to right index. Two indices are given to us and we have to handle this query and this query is something find sum of every single element starting from left to right in the given integer array nums. This is a problem statement. Here, uh, okay, they are asking us to implement a class, num array class. Num array constructor is going to initialize the object and sum range. Sum range is the function which is going to return me the range sum. Taking two parameters, starting of the range and ending of the range, left to right. And sum is like uh, inclusively, left and right inclusively. That is starting with nums left and add all the elements till nums of right. This is our problem statement and uh, we'll be receiving input in this case. So in our uh, sample input, first query parameter is nums array. It means call the constructor and the constructor is going to initialize the object with the nums given in the parallel form of parameter. So our object will be initialized with this array. After that, uh, we are going to have a couple of queries on some ranges. In this sum range, what I have to return is return the sum of every single element from this array starting from index 0 till index 2 starting from index 2 till index 5 starting from index 0 till index 5 so this is our sum range query our class will look like this this is the class name and this is the constructor and this is the query function that i have to implement in the constructor i'm not going to do anything like i will be just taking a parameter of integer array let's say i call it array i will be taking an array and going to initialize this array with this nums elements so that's all we have to do in the nums array and after that they are expected us to find the sum of all the elements from left to right okay uh, so uh, as we are clear with the problem statement we'll just have a look at the brute force first then we'll have a look how we can optimize uh, the time and space. Brute force is calculate sum for each query, whatever is given to us. Firstly, uh, we are given a nums array, just initialize our object and after that uh, some, some range query is given to us, starting with left to right, both inclusively. Let's say this is the array given to us, minus 2, 0, 3, minus 5, 2, minus 1. And the query is like this. Query is find the sum of all the elements starting from index 0 this is the index 0 and this is the index 2 if i take a sum of every single element it is minus 2 plus 0 plus 3 which is coming as 1 so this 1 i have to return how i can do this uh, this is definitely going to be done in this sum range function this is having left index right index and in teaser we have to return so why not i just directly write a loop so the one word solution to this brute force is iteration. Do the iteration starting from left and going till right and every element I'm going to add in my sum which is initialized to zero. In the end just return that sum. So that's all we have to do. And here in the worst case, worst case the query can go from zero to n minus one. That is n in size. So the query can have a worst case time complexity of order of n. In in short, if you are getting so many queries, let's check the constraints. At most, test power 4 calls will be made to some ranges. So queries can go till test power 4 in number. And the time complexity for the query is order of n per query. Per query is it is order of n. And what is the value of n? n value can go till 10 power 4. So 10 power 4 into 10 power 4, in the worst case, the whole solution can go till 10 power 8. 
so this is uh, the brute force approach and here the initialization is taking place uh, quite efficiently we are not doing anything uh, in the nums array constructor instead for every query we are going from left to right and this left to right can be order of n in the worst case so overall time complexity of our brute force is order of n into q this is the time complexity and it is quadratic in nature so now let's have a look how we can optimize our prefix sum let me take the same example in this example the array is given to us as this and these are our queries let me just firstly try to get the answer of the first query if i mark the indices for the clarity 0 1 2 3 4 5 first query is going from 0 to 2 so this is the first query and what is the sum of all the elements minus 2 plus 0 plus 3 answer is 1 and the second query is going from 2 to 5 2 to 5 2 till 5 what is the value 5 5 and it's minus 1 so the value is minus 1 from 0 to 5 0 to 5 is starting from 0 and going till 5 so it is uh, minus 1 minus 2 which is minus 3 so here uh, if you just try to have a look that at this position at this position we are having uh, some redundant operations and at this position 3 we are having redundant operation to keep it very simple i am just going to tell you the formula let's say uh, ij is my query and ij is something sum of all the elements starting from i till j and what we are doing for now for now we are just taking a loop we are doing iteration iteration is in the worst case going test order of n per query but see uh, i can be having any value of i in short uh, how many possibilities can be there for every query i can have n in number and this j can have n minus 1 in number or if i am just uh, picking 0 and uh, all the all the elements on the right side of the that i can be picked as n minus 1 so in short uh, it's around n square possibilities see if i just do one thing and i am fixing the first parameter fixing the first parameter let's say first parameter is 0 and i i'm skipping it i'm fixing the first parameter how many different com possibilities you can have for this query this query is only dependent of one parameter which is i and i value can go from 0 to n minus 1 let's say this is order of n in number so n queries are going to start from 0 0 to n if they are only n queries and they are they all are going to start from 0 when I start from 0 this is the first query second query third query fourth query fifth query sixth query and so on so all the n queries I can pre-process in order of n time just by doing one iteration and why these queries are going to be helpful to me that I will show you by example So let's say in this case uh, my query is from 2 to 3 this is 2 and this is 3 it means i need to get the sum of these two elements and uh, i just told you that if i just have a look on these type of queries starting from index 0 till index i we can have at most and at most n number of queries and those queries we can do the pre-processing and pre-processing is going to take order of n time see if you are not able to getting this uh, just have a look on this example this is the array given to us and i want the sum of these elements which are highlighted okay this is something i to j but i was talking about zero to something zero to something so zero to something is always starting from this if i take sum of zero to this three this is two this is three so 0 to 3 if I know the sum of 0 to 3 let's say 0 to 3 sum is equal to this and from this 0 to 3 this minus 2 and 0 is useless so if I just try to reduce the value of minus 2 and 0 
hmm? and uh, let's say this is 0 to 3 both inclusively so this is my range from 0 to 3 and this is the range from 0 to 1 this is not from 2 2 to 3 is inclusive to my desired range the left portion is going till 0 to 1 can I write a formula like this if you want to get answer from 2 to 3 you can first take answer from 0 to 3 and minus 0 to 1 then you will get the answer yes because this portion is this I will get the answer how many possibilities can be there around n square and if the queries are starting from 0 we can only have n possibilities so if there are there are only n possibility why not we just pre-process these things pre-process every single query starting from 0 till any i index so here uh, we need to do the pre-processing pre-processing is something we do to save our processing time and what was the pre-processing that is for every element storing the sum of this query starting from 0 till i starting from 0 to 0 i already know the same value because there is only one element one element means no iteration nothing else so starting from this index i what i can do is current element current element is this i and the previous element is sum of all the previous elements are already stored at this value if this array is prefix and this is i mapped to this uh, above i it is i minus 1 so sum of all the elements till 0 to i minus 1 is stored at prefix of i minus 1 so here at this position at uh, this position what will be the value current value plus sum of all the values on the left sum of all the values on the left is minus 2 so minus 2 plus 0 will be minus 2 and for the next iteration net next iteration is 3 sum of all the elements starting from 0 to this index index is 2 what is the value current element plus all the sum of left elements current element is 3 sum of all the left elements are minus 2 which is already computed so I'm not going to compute it again so minus 2 plus 3 which is 1 so 1 plus minus 5 which is minus 4 minus 4 plus 2 which is minus 2 minus 2 plus 1 that is minus 3 so here I have computed pre-computed the sum or you can say prefix sum of every single uh, element till ith index let's say for any i value it is the sum of every element starting from 0 till i and how this prefix sum is going to be helpful because we just derived a formula that for any query like this uh, if I know the sum of 0 to j 0 to j and this is i if I want sum of i to j I can reduce the sum from 0 to j minus 0 to i minus 1 this formula we just derived and this is for the case where i is greater than 0 if i is 0 then then you already have the answer in the prefix right no need to apply this formula so this is uh, how we are doing the pre-processing to save our time in this case our class was something like this class was uh, like this and I created an array and in this num array I can do pre-processing pre-processing is something I am creating my prefix array and that prefix array I can use in my sum range so sum range if I just use this formula this formula is order of one time in short order of one per order of one per query and if I am getting q or m number of queries which was going till 10 power 4 so I am going to have 10 power 4 time complexity in short you are having m number of queries the overall time is order of m earlier it was for every query I was taking order of n time this time for every query I am taking order of one time which is a significant improvement why because we are uh, only going to do the pre-processing once 
and after that for all the queries i'm going to give the answer in order of one time and this is something we are doing with the help of prefix sum prefix sum is something doing pre-processing to save the processing time that's all now uh, let's write the code for this approach first of all let's complete the constructor here in the constructor i am taking an array as an input and this array i need to store or instead of storing this array why not i just use it uh, as a pre-processing because we have to we have only one function some ranges and this is going to give me the range left to right and from the in this array from left to right whatever is the sum just return that so i'm directly taking a prefix array and this prefix array is going to be of the same length uh, prefix is equal to new integer of size n and this prefix array i need to prepare let me check the length of this array this length of this array is starting from one so definitely there is zeroth element prefix zero is equal to nums of zero why i'm using it because i'll be starting my loop from one starting from one i less than n i plus plus here prefix of i is equal to sum of all the elements so far plus current element nums of i now my prefix array is prepared and i just have to use the prefix array see either the prefix array itself have the answer if let's say the sub left is zero it means answer is already there in the prefix prefix of right otherwise prefix of right i want answer from left to right so from zero to right this is the answer minus from zero to left minus one this is the answer and overall it is going to give me the answer from left to right sample test cases are passed i'm submitting the problem it got submitted successfully i hope you understood the approach it's a good question on prefix sum for the beginners but if you want to practice more on this topic you can you can try out this problem range sum query 2d immutable just like prefix sum in the form of 2d uh, grid after that range up sum query mutable mutable is something like uh, this prefix uh, prefix for this array nums was constant i was not getting any update in the array so once i have got the array um, i'm just going to get the sum ranges queries but what if this array is also getting modified after some intervals then our prefix array will be invalidated and we have to uh, calculate it again and that calculating the whole prefix array is not a good option so in this case uh, we square root differentiate um, or use this so in that case we sometimes use square root differentiate or segment tree to solve that problem you can try out these two problems after this okay thank you guys bye bye